Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I'm going to talk about the memory based question for SEBI phase one of the year 2022 and part two. So this is the part two of the video where I'm going to discuss the SEBI phase one question of the year 2022. And this is the fourth video in the series of the memory based questions for the SEBI examination from year 2020 to 2022. Earlier to that, I have made two videos on the descriptive questions from the year 2020 and 2022 and one video which consists of 10 questions of the MCQ questions which appeared in year 2020. I'll tell you a brief about how you have to watch this video. In this video, again, I'm going to show you 10 questions and the answers to all of them uh, will be shown in the last. So you have to grab a pen and paper, attempt every question mark your answer and at the end when I'm going to show you the answer list just match your answer evaluate your attempt and give yourself marks after that I'll tell you at what are the good attempts and how many marks if you got and um, what should be done in whichever category you fall so I basically classify entire test into three categories that is any marks be, uh, which is below five marks between six and seven and the marks which are from eight to ten so these are the three categories uh, for which uh, this has been done also every question will be consisting of uh, the 20 marks in the actual examination but here you have to just consider yourself for one mark so that we can have that scale of one to ten then you have to give a negative of one by four for every particular questions that you have attempted incorrectly now let's begin the video without wasting any time. So the 11th question here is on the operator overloading in C++ and uh, you have to pause the video, read the question and then attempt the question. So what exactly is true for operator overloading in C++ basically you have to choose the answer for that. The next question is on the bitwise operator in C++. So which all is the bitwise operator or if all of these are bitwise operator or none of these are the bitwise operator that you have to check. Now, the 13th question is related to the commands to change the priority in Linux. So what command you will use to change the priority in Linux whenever is it needed? Pause the video, read the question and attempt and mark your answer in your paper. The 14th question is basically to count total number of argument in the shell scripting. So in SEBI shell scripting is very important and they will ask very easy question yet very difficult question for all those people who haven't read anything on the shell scripting. So this particular question is counting how many total arguments are there in the shell. Now the 15th question is uh, related to the definition of the second normal form. What is exactly true for the second normal form in the normalization under DBMS that you have to choose here. 16th question is related to the quick sort uh, for the average time complexity. If you have read the quick sort algorithm, then the average time complexity for that will be uh, what among these particular options that you have to choose. Now, the 17th question is related to divide and conquer. And uh, <clears throat> this particular approach is used by which of the following approaches, like which of the following algorithms that you have to choose. Now. The 18th question here is related to the dynamic programming and you have to just check which option fits best for the dynamic programming. Now, the last question, uh, sorry, the 19th question for this particular uh, web, uh, question is like, which all statements are correct about sorting? So, sorting uh, here you have, you can see that we have different kinds of sorting algorithms like bubble sort selection, insertion, radix and all these things. So now this is the thing where you have to be learn, like learned about the time complexities for all the basic algorithms that are being taught to you. Okay. Now the 20th question and the last question for this series is uh, with respect to the passive attacks for the cyber security, choose the correct answer from all of these. If wherever you felt that the video was paused, pause the video, attempt the question and then mark your answer. Now let's see all the 10 answers for this particular uh, video. These are the answer from 11 to 20 and I hope you will be giving yourself an honest review. If you are getting marks between 1 to 5, you need to back up and revise all the things which are asked in this particular uh, video. So all the topics which were, from which the questions were asked, you need to revise them all. If you are somewhere between 6 to 7, then it's a good marks, but yet average marks, you need 
some more improvements if you are anywhere between 8 to 10 it is a good thing and keep it up and make sure wherever you went wrong you correct it so this was all from my side for this video if you like this video and want more of these kinds of videos from our side then do hit like the button and subscribe the channel and do hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update whenever we are going to bring any it specific or any other government exam video prepare 50 percent faster with high exam b by enrolling to our course that is sebi it comprehensive course in our website so go to our website that is www.taxambi and look out for our demir course if you still have any question mention that in the comment section or you can write us you know, at hello taxambi.com or can reach out to us on the number that is being flashed on the screen so till the time i keep bringing the next video keep practicing and stay updated